Hi, I'm Julianne Neal with the Equus Film and Arts Fest, and I'm so excited to be speaking with one of our new Equus authors today, Melanie Bowles, or I'll, I'll make your mom happy and say Melanie Sue Bowles. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Melanie. We're so glad to have you with us today. Thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be here. Well, we're going to be speaking about two of your projects. They're, they're both soft cover books, The Horses of Proud Spirit and Hoof Prints, Horses, Stories from Proud Spirit. And you're actually on location at Proud Spirit Sanctuary right now, correct? I am, yes. Great. Well, can you tell us a little bit about the two projects and about the sanctuary? It sounds wonderful. Well, we began the sanctuary um, back, uh, well, 30 years ago. And we started on five acres of land with one horse in need. And over the last 30 years, it's evolved into um, buying additional land and then moving again and buying more land. And we're now on almost 200 acres. Wow. And over the last 30 years, we've intervened on behalf of hundreds and hundreds of horses in need. And my books reflect, they just tell the story of how the sanctuary began and some of the stories of the horses that have come to us. And some of them are a little bit moving and emotional and others are funny. And uh, so it's a, it's a book of, it, I think it, hit, it hits every emotion. And um, after the first book came out, um, a producer for PBS read the book and wanted to come out and film a full-length documentary about the sanctuary. Wonderful. So that happened in 2004, and that aired nationally. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, I wrote my second book, Hoof Prints, More Stories from Proud Spirit. Well, from, from Jesse and Riley to Indigo, they all sound like amazing animals. And from stories of all the foals in the barn to Indigo surprising you in the laundry room, I think it sounds amazing. <laughs> so, so what's been the most rewarding part of the book project for you? Uh, for the, about the books? Oh, I think it's just meeting like-minded people who have a passion for horses and, and care about these majestic noble creatures and and that feel the same way about the life they deserve mm -hmm. absolutely and i know you probably have a ton more stories to tell is there another book in the works yes well i've completed a third book that's called the dogs of proud spirit oh. and it's because you know you open a sanctuary for animals and it becomes kind of like a field of dreams build it and they will come and so I decided to write a book about all the dogs who have found their way to us. And um, I'm just starting working on a fourth book. Wow, that's amazing. So, so we figured there would be more to come. So I have to ask, and this is probably not fair, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Of all the horses that have made their way to the sanctuary, is there one special one that stands out for you? Uh, I get asked that a lot, actually, and you know, it kind of has to go back to the first horse, really. Mm -hmm. It almost does. Uh, uh, she was the one who opened my eyes to uh, just how glorious these animals are, and uh, she was a horribly neglected, off-the-track thoroughbred, and uh, she just taught me so much. Um, mm -hmm. I'll never forget her. Her name was Cody, and uh, she was my special, special girl. And she just really was the inspiration for wanting to open the sanctuary. Well, she made it into your heart and made it possible for all the rest. So we, we yeah. appreciate that. That's wonderful. Well, yeah. if folks wanted to find out more about the sanctuary, more about you and the books, where would they find you online? We are on Facebook, uh, Proud Spirit Horse Sanctuary, and our website is Horses of Proud Spirit. Uh, we do so much more on Facebook really than anything. So Horses of Proud Spirit, we, we post a lot about what's going on here and uh, yeah, you can find us there. And, and through the books, of course, they're available wherever books are sold. And we'll have them on Equity Yeah. Yeah, thank sure. you. Well, thank you so much for telling us a little bit more about the stories, and, and I know people are going to love reading the books. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate it, Melanie. Thank you so much for having me. And we'll look forward to seeing you next year.
Okay, great. <laughs>